Hey everyone, welcome to Hunters Connect. And today, we're gonna to be covering how to keep your meat cool in the backcountry. When you aren't planning on coming back to your vehicle on the same day, you lose that luxury of getting back to the truck and putting your meat on ice right away. So in order to be a responsible backcountry hunter, you need to have a game plan to keep your meat from spoiling when it may be a while before you can get back to your vehicle. In this video, we will share some ideas and tactics that you can utilize to keep your meat cool next time you're heading deep into that remote honey hole. Before you head on your next hunt, you need to do some planning so you can understand which situations you may be in. August and September can have very high temperatures, which makes keeping your meat cool all that much more important. If you are planning a backcountry hunt, keep an eye out on the forecast for the dates that you'll be out in the field. That way you can see if it's how hot it'll be. And if it's gonna be a pretty warm week, you need to start strategizing on what to do with your meat after you are successful. So you also need to understand your limits. Don't plan on hiking in seven plus miles from the nearest road, shooting an elk, and think you can get all that meat back in one day. If that is the type of hunt you want to do during a warm weather period, you're going to want to have some friends on call to help you pack meat or even have a packer with some stock that can get in there and help you get that meat out quickly. First off, you're going to need breathable game bags. Putting your meat in game bags will allow airflow to cool the meat while keeping bugs and debris off. In the warmer early season, the flies and bees are usually pretty abundant. So getting that meat inside the bags as quickly as possible will keep those pesky flies from laying eggs in your meat. Once you're in the field and have an animal down, you're gonna to wanna to start strategically field dressing that animal. The hide of the animal will retain so much heat. The quicker you can get that hide off, the better. This can be done by using the gutless method, or if you do so choose, you can gut it out as well. And getting those internal guts out will also be a great method to start alleviating heat from inside that body cavity. On most game animals, the inside portions of those back hams retain a lot of heat. So the quicker you can open those up and get those hindquarters off the animal, the better. So during this process, while you're pulling off quarters and other pieces of meat, you're gonna to wanna to put those directly into the game bags and get those hung up as soon as they come off the animal. You might not always have a tree or something to hang the meat in. So if you don't, find some nearby rocks or sticks or branches to kind of get them laid across. This will allow airflow to still get around that meat as much as possible. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have shade nearby during your field dressing process, this is where you're gonna to wanna to hang up your meat. Getting it out of that sun as soon as possible should be a top priority. Depending on where you're hunting, you may not have big shade trees nearby to hang your meat in. So this is where a few other tips will come in handy. If you're hunting in an alpine environment in the high country, hopefully you can find some snow banks. Snow banks are like nature's ice chests. Submerge the meat underneath the snow, and if it doesn't melt, the meat could potentially last up to a week in there. Another naturally cool place to store meat is down in shaded creek bottoms. It's a lot colder down by the water, and you can usually find nice breezes coming along the streams down in there. Remember, that air circulation is key, and if you can find a breezy spot, this will be great for the meat. Now, if you're really in a jam, carrying some contractor bags or dry bags can be helpful if there is absolutely no shade or trees to hang your meat in. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to find a cold river, lake, or stream. You can place your meat inside the contractor bag and submerge it under the water. Now, if you do this, you might wanna throw some rocks on top or tie it up to the bank so your, water, your meat doesn't get swept downstream. This will keep your meat nice and cool, but it'll also be beneficial if you take the meat out at night once that sun drops and the outside temp has dropped so you can get the meat to start drying out and cooling again. That air circulation is gonna be key. If you do decide to debone your meat and put it in game bags, or even have multiple boned quarters in the same game bag, make sure once or twice a day you're shuffling those pieces of meat around. That meat that's in the inside that's all touching each other, it's not getting that air circulation and it could begin to spoil because that meat really retains a lot of heat. So once you shuffle it around, those pieces that were in the inside are now gonna be on the outside and they're gonna begin to breathe a little bit. So just keep that shuffling process throughout your trip and that should help the meat circulate, air, and cool out and dry. One last tip is to always have a cooler of ice waiting for you back at your vehicle. This will allow the meat to cool on your drive home. After battling the heat, if you ever are questioning if your meat is still good to eat, the one method that will never let you down is your nose. If the meat ever begins to smell rotten or sour, you will then know it is no longer good to eat. 
but hopefully all these tips and tactics will help keep your meat from going bad on your next backcountry adventure. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any questions or even any tips of your own, be sure to leave them in the comments below. We'll catch you guys on the next one.